What's happening, Shredder Nation? Jesse James Jemnick here. Welcome to a short little science mindset edition. Um, I want to share. I'm super excited. I have this amazing topic that we're gonna go, that we're gonna cover today. Five reasons why you should never, ever, ever use the word cheat meal again. And I'm really, really excited because I actually learned these from a clinical psychiatrist. And as I read through these, I realized I was like, holy crap, this is pretty much how I've lived my life. This is how I made the changes in the mindset from where I was to where I am today. And it's continued to go and build over and over and over. And as we keep preaching, lifestyle mindset. Mindset is everything. So let's dive into this. Reason number one that you should never, ever, ever use the word cheat meal ever again in your life is you've got to realize that cheating is bad. Uh, the word itself, the context of the word cheat is universally recognized as a bad thing, as a wrong thing. So we all know that we shouldn't cheat on a test. We all know that we shouldn't cheat on our spouse. We shouldn't cheat on our taxes. Cheating is just such a bad choice of words because it sends the wrong message to our brain. And what happens over time is, is when we look at food as a cheat meal, we start to then associate that with ourselves, right? So food's a cheat meal. Now, therefore, if I have a cheat meal and it's not scheduled or it's not programmed like every diet in the, on the planet today, except for this, okay? If it's scheduled like that, all of a sudden you bring that word into your life. Now, God forbid you have something that's not on that day, you feel bad. You punish yourself. You 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 in, you inject self-doubt when you do that. It's like you cheated. You, you cheated, right? So, if you eat that food, it's a bad food. You're a bad person. And you can see where that's just not going to be a good thing. And, you know, so if you tell yourself, I'm allowed this cheap thing one day a week. And like I said, life happens and you cheat. That's not a day. Just bad, bad, bad. So that's that's reason number one that you should never, ever, ever use the word cheat meal ever again in your life. Reason number two is food shouldn't have rules. Food should not have rules. So by definition, cheating means we're breaking the rules. We cheated on something. We broke the standard rule, right? So if we do that, if we have rigid rules around food, we're 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 trending, we're we're we're, we're like we're just trending on a dangerous path, right? We can't have rules around food. You're far better off establishing healthy, flexible ways of eating. Healthy flexible ways of eating, flexible being the key word. You got to be flexible, right? You got to be set in your goals, but flexible in your ways. That's something that my amazing fiance has taught me. That's what we, that's what we do with uh, ultra marathon running, training all the time, like set in your goals, but flexible in the ways to accomplish them. And the same mindset has to go around food. If you want this to be an enjoyable lifestyle, I love every day. I don't deprive myself. I don't feel like I'm getting cheated. I don't feel like I'm missing out. In fact, I feel like my life is 10 times better because I get to do things. I get to have adventures that others can't because I'm not cheating myself. My rules don't have food. My food serves me. You've heard me say this. Like Food is my energy. Food is my gas to a car. Food is my electricity to a Tesla. Food is my rocket fuel to a rocket. Do you understand? That's food, right? So guidelines offer flexibility. Strictness does not. Rules do not. For many people, adhering to very strict food rules can lead to disorders. You know, we, we've heard about, you know, eating disorders of, of not eating, but there's actually something called orthorexia nervosa. And that's a diagnosis given to people that take uh, healthy eating to an extreme level. So you can see where the mindset plays such an important role in helping you guide you in the right way. That's number two. Tip number three, why you should never use the word cheat meal again is who are you cheating? 
who are you cheating? If cheating means you're breaking the rules, who's setting the rules? Who set the rules in the first place? Where did we get the rules from? And therefore, who exactly are you cheating? Whoa. Whoa. Think about this for a second. Most people have a long history of dieting. Most people have experienced failure many times over and over and over again. And it leads to a lack of self-trust. And when you don't have self-trust, you don't trust yourself in your daily choices. You don't trust yourself in your daily actions. You can see that negative energy that flows inside is just not going to be good for overall health. You understand? Can I get an amen? Yes, right? Yes. Cool. So you got to create, you know, the lack of faith in yourself creates self-fulfilling prophecy. It's just, it's just constantly bad, right? So creating a sustainable lifestyle, which is what I, I preach to you. This is not just 11 days. This is not a quick fix. Yes, you're going to have a great results. This is not that though. This is deeper. If you follow it, it's deeper. It's euphoric. So you learn to trust yourself. You're more likely to adhere to things because, you know, you're not on a strict rules-based diet. Oh, like fearful of food. No, not at all, right? It just, it just doesn't, it sets you up for, for the right things. That's tip number three. Tip number four is the bounce back effect. You know, this psychiatrist had said, it's, it's proven that deprivation leads to excess. Deprivation leads to excess. So obviously the point of incorporating a cheat meal into your diet is that sometimes it doesn't happen. But when it's a one-off event, you're, you're more likely to eat much more, meaning that if it's my cheat day, I'm likely to pound ridiculous amounts of stupid, empty, useless calories because it's my cheat day and every other day I have to be stripped versus if I want to eat a cookie because I just want to eat a darn cookie. Do you see the difference? Do you see, do you see the mindset shift, right? I'm eating the cookie because I want to eat a cookie. Get off me. Or I got to eat all this today because it's my only day. It's just not good. It's just not good for the brain. It creates the yo-yo dieting effect. And we all know that that's not a healthy pattern to fall into. No good. Number four. Tip number five, why you should never, ever, ever use the word cheat meal ever again is where's the joy? Where is the joy? Food should provide nourishment. Food should, is an enjoyment. It's not for entertainment. And we use food as entertainment. There's no joy in that necessarily, right? It, it, it provides you the energy. Some foods, you know, you indulge in should be looked at as sometimes foods. Other foods should be looked at as all the times foods. All the times foods fuel my body, provide me energy, give me the, 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 the means to feel good, sleep good, look good, glow good, <laughs> just everything good, okay? So treating them as a luxury and a treat is going to increase your chance of enjoyment versus a cheat, a treat versus a cheat. You are treating yourself. Why? Now, don't let that get out of control. Oh, Jesse, I just worked out. I'm going to treat myself. Oh, I'm going to go treat myself to a cheesecake. You understand? It's in, it's in the realm. But you have to, it's just a mindset. And sometimes it's okay to do the other stuff too. Like It depends on your goals. I don't do it that much, but I have different goals. I, I'm, I, I like crazy activities, right? That's my choice. I feel joy from it. I don't feel anything bad from what I, I feel my life is amazing. I'm, I'm blessed. I'm thankful. I have an amazing 
fiance. I have an amazing daughter. I have, I have you know, a booming business. Like, I'm very thankful. I'm grateful. But that doesn't mean it doesn't come without stuff, too. But it's joyful. And if I don't want to create that negative, and if you do with food, you're creating that negative in your life. So choosing to stick to healthy eating majority of the time, majority of the time is the way to go. You don't want to have cheap weeks. You don't want to have, you, just, you understand? It just, it's not good. So replace the word cheap with, with treat is what I'm urging you to do. And watch how it drastically changes your life. Friends, I hope that brought you massive value. If you found value in this, sharing is caring. Please tag your friends below. Please share this message out because the more people that we can help impact help impact with their health and change their health, I believe that it can make the world a better place at the same time. Because when we're happy and we're healthy every day, we're going to bring that energy out into everything that is that we do. And Lord knows that we need more of that amazing energy today. I hope you all have an amazing day. Talk to you soon. Uh -huh.